This is my town. It's just a couple streets, a park, and a lake. My little world all of its own. It's the kind of town where nobody moves out and almost nobody moves in. School just ended the day before, and I'm in three months of freedom. Three months of hanging out with my mismatched collection of best friends like Jeff and Manny. Jeff was a year older than us, but he acts like he's three years younger. So it all works out. His mom died a couple years ago, but he never talks about it. Then there's Manny. Manny was raised by his mom because his dad's in the military and spends most of his time overseas. Despite that, Manny's the funniest kid we know. One time, Manny said something so funny, he made me shoot hot chocolate out of my nose. And yeah, of course there were bullies. Eddie's the turd and Howie the hood. No one calls him the turd to his face, but it pretty much sums him up. Now Howie, nobody knows much about Howie except that he's equal parts weird and nasty. Yeah, okay. Bye, Manny. Bye, Julie. Hi, Julie. And that's me, Benji. I live on a farm with my mom and dad. My dad says that without our farm, the town would go hungry as if we live in some remote jungle without cars or pizza. Go! Oh, you scared? Go! You, scared? you can't push, that's a personal foul. The defender can't stop the receiver's ability from making catch. But we're both on offense. <laughs> Just go. Come on, Jeff. Every town has a sweet old crazy lady, and ours is Miss Odell. Miss Odell has a cat named Socrates that she keeps on a leash, on the porch. We all pretend it's not weird, but... Yeah, it's pretty weird. Hey, Miss Odell! Ah, I have one! What? I played three flies off, I have one. What are you talking about? When did we decide that? Now? Since now? Really? What kind of bird is that? What bird? Up there, see, that branch right there. Been there all morning. Oh, I see it. That's a white crown sparrow. Wow. Hey! Hey, what? She's literally turning into a witch right now. <laughs> and why are you messing with them? It's not worth it. <laughs> Let's go. Hey, hear about the new family that moved into Jimmy's old house? Yeah, I wonder if they speak English. Well, let's go find out. <laughs> Jeff, go on! What do you mean, go on? I'm like three feet behind you, <laughs> idiot. What's this? That is the oldest bike I've ever seen. Oh, hello. Greetings. Greetings? It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Roland. You talk uh, funny. We're from Scotland. Really? So, uh... So, uh, you're a McSomething, then? Yes. McEntish, as it happens. Roland, do you mind helping me with this? We can help. Can we carry something for you, man? Don't worry, ma'am. I'll get the door. That would be lovely. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. He's going Roland's room. Okay. Jeez, let me stop sharing this place. What do you care? You're not carrying anything. I got the football. <laughs> yeah, I'm tough. There's something strange about this room. You mean the velvet, the dragon, and the chair? I don't know. It's just sort of creepy. It's not funny, man. Funniest thing I've seen all day. <laughs> Guys, look. It's Roland. No. So you like the painting? It's very. Is that you in your Sunday skirt? No. That's my great-grandfather, whom I'm named after. It's his confirmation portrait, actually. He was the last knight in our family. A knight? A real knight? Sit down. I'd like to show you guys something. This is the family chronicle. It is a true story. 
We were all in a trance. We listened to Roland's passionate voice telling tales of valor and noble deeds from his ancestors. As he told these amazing stories, one thought kept on repeating in my mind. This kid's full of crap. But the more he talked, I couldn't help but imagine what it was like back then to live in a castle. Feast on whatever kind of animals they had back then, and sit in front of a giant fireplace underneath the family coat of arms. Honestly, I don't know if any of this was true, but I couldn't wait to hear more. Hey, what do you guys think? Professional purple or power pink? Purple. Pink. Purple. You guys worry about the supermarket opening? Worry? I ain't worried. Jason and I definitely have our own opinions about the future of this store. You know he's been taking meetings with this Mr. Scrub guy. You gonna say something? You know, our farm is the only reason why people still love that. Yeah, and Jason's still my boss. Well, I met that Mr. Scrub. Bought a foreclosure alongside the river. He's not all bad. Not all bad? Uh... I met the new family I moved into Jimmy's old house. Uh, they got a son named Roland, and uh, seems pretty cool. Hmm. And they're Scottish, too. His father just, uh, he's part of a tech startup in the city. Hmm. His head world looks like something out of a movie. Oh, yeah? Hmm. Which movie? Well, I don't know. Just like some medieval, awesome movie that uh, you won't let me watch. <laughs> Like this. Hey, Roland. Do you miss home? Living in Scotland was tolerable, but I found it inadequate in certain particulars. Were you forced to move here? Like some bad stuff went down and your family had to get off the island fast? No. Like I said, New business for my father. Don't they have business in Scotland? Seriously, Manny? I don't know, I'm just asking. Maybe they were all eaten by the Locust Monster. Oh. Shut up, man. Yes, money, business, running water, indoor toilets, castles. Castles? Yes, castles. Some of my ancient relatives lived in and defended them. No way, you're just saying that because it sounds cool with your accent. Bam! Five skips, halfway across. Beat that, Scotland. Oh, no way. That was four. It was only four. It went like a mile past yours, Jeff. You want some ice for that burn? Is it more considerable to go far or have an abundance of skips? Distance doesn't matter. Those are the rules. Why do you always make up rules after we've started playing something? Then I concede. What? You win. Good game. Oh, this is the best. The lake all to ourselves. Good times with friends. Paradise. What? <laughs> what? Oh, screw you guys. Manny was right. This is the best. The sun high above our heads and not a care in the world. That's paradise. <laughs> we were laughing because we were friends and everything was funny. The cliff swallows above our heads, the story of old sailors, Manny's stupid jokes, just ridiculously low voice, Roland's way of talking, and the sound of my own laughter. As different as Roland is, I liked having him around. I wanted to be like him. It felt like while he's here, I would be safe and nothing bad would happen. Hey! Hey, what? Howdy, boys. Watch it. Watch what? Hey, why didn't you say anything? You know, grab your stuff, guys. Let's go. What are these gentlemen? They are no gentlemen. <laughs> Is that so? So, uh, where do you guys think you're going? Looking for, uh, fish and chips with your new willy buddy. My name's Roland, and I'm from Scotland. Oh, shut up. We're just here doing some discount shopping. Hmm? Hey, I, I've always wanted a pair of these. Hmm? Oh. 
shoot. It looks like they don't work. Hmm? <laughs> what? You can't see Big Bird up close now? <laughs> hey, come on, that's right, yeah. Oh, yeah? Come and get it, then. Let's go. Hey. <laughs> Oh, 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 go, go. <laughs> Come on, it's your dad's door. Go, go, go. Here we go. Here we go. Go. Hey. Blue, I can't get in. What do you think you're doing? I don't know who you are or what your problem is, but you ought to know that only cowards make sports to pecking on younger kids. Who do you think you are? I'm not the one who thinks I'm someone. Take them. <laughs> you ready to go back? Come on, cut it out. out. You know, I just might. Drop that knife and let go of that boy. Right now. <laughs> and what are you gonna do, hmm? Stick us to death? There's one way to find out. This isn't over, old lady. Man, I can't believe you talked to Howie like that. Howie is a coward, and like all cowards, he hides behind his insecure black armor of hate and violence. Hot to balls, man. Unbelievable. There you go. Sorry about your binox. My own fault. For you? Thank you. You're welcome. Benji's afraid of the water. Yeah, which explains the smell. <laughs> Everybody! <laughs> Everybody's talking about you! They say you've been going from uh, cornbread chef to Rambo. Is that so? You know how this town gossips. I see you've been branching out. <laughs> Now, Roland, let your story tell something about your family. I descend from Scottish knights and kings. Oh, my. One of my ancestors was Rufus Bearbottom. <laughs> <laughs> he once fought 20 Englishmen single-handedly. <laughs> Why was his name Bearbottom? Because he didn't wear anything under his kilt. <laughs> you mean his skirt? Dude, you're making this up. <laughs> it's actually very common for people to wear kilts and the old days in Scotland, and they still do, at formal occasions and festivals. Haven't you boys seen Braveheart? That's the movie my dad won't let me see. Oh, yeah, it's a great one. Except it's factually inaccurate. <laughs> my great, 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 great grandfather was a Robert the Bruce, King of Scotland. Seriously? Ah, you were holding out on us. Nah, you're just lying. It's true. I can show you. I still say this doesn't prove anything. King Bearbottom? That just sounds made up. He wasn't a king. He was a knight. What's the difference? One fights and one rules. I think that if you fight, you rule. Even if you fight in your Sunday skirt? Who's that for? Finally! In Scotland, the police side usually signifies something bad. Yeah, but in Jeff's defense, nothing happens in this town. Guys, it looks like they're headed from Miss Odell's house. Yeah. <laughs> Holy. Uh, uh, uh. There was so much screaming. Is that what the screaming was about? <laughs> yep. What are you going to do about that? I'll get the FBI right on it. Well, he's not that bad. Yeah, it'll grow back. No, it kind of looks like an alien, bro. Is that what all this is about? 
It's a cat, people. Who gives a crap? Jeff, come on. Jeff! Nothing here for you boys to see. We're just taking rolling, you know where. Be careful back there. I have no idea what that means. Now you have to swear to secrecy. This is our very special secret hiding place. I understand. Swear? I do. Then say it. I swear that this gathering will remain completely clandestine on the grave of Robert the Bruce. You're so weird, man. to do something. Yeah. She loved that cat. Actually, now that I think about it, it does kind of look cool now. Yeah, that's not funny, Jeff. She's always helping us. Helping all of us. <laughs> we have to get those guys back. If pure, speak true, right wrong, follow the king. What did you say? The night's cold. Really? Fantasy time is not gonna help right now, Roland. Why do you always have to say something so stupid, dude? Guys, calm down. If it wasn't for her, they would've beat the crap out of Roland. And we didn't lift a finger. You could've done something. For what? Huh? Are you a chicken? You got no guts anymore? Oh, oh, so now you're Mr. Tough Guy, right? You're always thinking you're the, you're the toughest one here. I shaved the cat. I'm Eddie, I'm Howie. Shut up, Jeff. Stop it. We certainly won't be able to deal with those two scoundrels by arguing. And fighting won't help Miss Odell either. We have to demonstrate unyielding courage in the face of adversity. If we intend to never let Howie and Eddie get away with this kind of behavior again, then we have to bond together. Stay here. Owen's right, guys. I mean, whether you like it or not, we have to stand together. To do what? Huh? I am Rowan. Dragon. A knight of the Order of the Red Dragon. A fight to defend the rights of the weak, the oppressed, and the downtrodden. To seek truth for justice against injustice. Who will join me? I will. Sir. Rolling the dragon. Is there anyone else who will join me to avenge Socrates? Yes, absolutely. I will too. Yeah. 
Knights. We would be real knights. With a noble mission, with swords and shields and capes and helmets. We would be invincible. We dedicated every spare minute to the armory at Roland's house. We had no time for football or fishing. Well done, honey. We scoured every book Roland had looking for a really cool crest, the perfect symbol to represent each of us. to the garage's boys and emerged as a solemn group of knights. This was our moment. Behind these uniforms and weapons lies a holy purpose, an unwavering commitment for justice, brave and true. We were knights, warriors of righteousness, ready for battle. So Jeff, why have you presented the tiger? Because a tiger kick it. Rise. Stand before me. So, while your joke was funny, an ancient legend says that the tribal confederation of people known as Pex landed in northern Scotland and were attacked by wildcats. So fierce were these creatures that the Pex adopted the tiger as their tribal symbol and name. I once saw a buffalo kill a tiger. No way a buffalo could eat a tiger. Look it up. Guys, shut up. Roll it. Continue. I, Roland the Dragon, hereby declare that you are now Jeff, the tiger. Knight of the Order of the Red Dragon. Bird. What a shocker. Shut up, Jeff. Ancient Celts believed that the voice of the dove was a mourning call, that when its cry was heard, it indicated that the soul was passing from the earth in peace. Really? Yes. The dove represents grace and peace, along with the promise of safekeeping from storms. Storms are cool, I guess. We are in order, strong together in our diversity. A cord of three strands is not quickly broken. But there are four of us. Three and a half, really. Can we focus? I, Roland the Dragon, hereby declare that you are now Benji, the Dove. Knights of the Order of the Red Dragon. It's an eagle lion. It's a griffin. King of all beasts with the king of all birds. Well done, Manny. A griffin is a kind and powerful creature. The king of all creatures. In your face! I, Rowan the Dragon, Hereby declare that you are now Manny the Griffin, valiant knight in the Order of the Red Dragon. All right, our heraldry is complete. Next on the agenda is fencing practice. Fantastic! Lord London! Where are we going? We begin in pairs, I against Benji the Dove, Jeff the Tiger against Manny the Griffin. It is not allowed to hit in the face or stab in the stomach. 
If the sword gets behind the opponent's shield, then that's a point. Unless the opponent parries with his sword. What's a parry? A parry is a defensive fencing maneuver intended to deflect or block an incoming attack. Like this. Cool. Strike! Ah! Strike! Ah! Strike! Ah! Three points constitutes a victory. So, let us begin. One point! Gotcha! One point! <laughs> Two points! Did you guys see that? I... with you? This is practice, not a battle. I won. He only got two points on me. He hit you three times and we saw it. How could you see? You were all the way up there. I was watching very carefully. You didn't have to hurt him. It's nothing, man. He's fine. I didn't hurt him. You're fine, right? See, he's fine. You know, all right, maybe it was my fault. Maybe, maybe my, maybe my story's a little heavy, man. I didn't mean to hurt him, though. It's all good. I gotta go in for supper. I was the one who won! Whatever. Them. I beat them all. I beat all of them. And Benji came at me like that, and then Manny came behind me like that. Dad, what are you wearing? You finally lost your mind. What is that? A pussy cat? No, it's a tiger. You know, like a symbol, like a coat of arms. All right. Come on, get out. Don't wear that thing in here. Hey, Dad, you see the scratch right here? You know where that came from? I broke Manny's shield in a single blow. Oh, yeah? Hey, you cut me. Our initial training is now complete. The first mission of the Order of the Red Dragon is to avenge Socrates. 
Fellow knights, how shall Howie the Hood and Eddie the Turd pay for their misdeeds? You just make that? If only they had a dog or some other pet we could shave. No, that wouldn't do it all. Why not? It'd be a just payback for justice brave and true. Right? No. Shaving an honest animal wouldn't be just in this case. No, in any case for that matter. I don't know about Howie, but Eddie doesn't have any pets. He has a girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. We could exact a punishment so wildly original that he'll never see it coming. I'm gonna shave his girlfriend. <laughs> Nope. I have something better in mind. It appears this young turd comes from money. Hey, is that his girlfriend? Oh. Ew. Did he just bite her? There's another guy using me for your money, Dad. <laughs> oh, I know what that feels like. Okay, I'll just be down here boring your mother to death. Oh, somebody please shoot me! Let's go! Aren't you afraid of heights? I am not. Okay. It's true in the third grade. Okay, okay, yeah. I'm just gonna do it. Just go. For justice, brave and strong. Reggie, if you feel like you're gonna fall, just aim for Manny. Shut up, idiot. of the Order of the Red Dragon was a raging success. Justice prevailed. The balance of power was restored. Nothing could stop us. A true knight must have the courage to stand up for those principles which he believes are right, especially in the presence of those who oppose the cardinal virtues of the knighthood to defend the weak, free the oppressed, and bring relief to the downtrodden. Now, noble knights, remove your boots for the anim... anim... The anim what? The anim cara ritual ceremonially seals the bond between friends. Everyone, look at your candle. A knight fights for justice against injustice, never raising his sword for unjust sport or folly. By our bond, we are forever brothers. By this act, we are so bound with respect for each other. We are Anamkara. What does Anamkara mean? Soul friend. The knight demonstrates unyielding courage in the face of adversity. No danger is too great to prevent him from fulfilling a promise or completing a mission. Our own flames shine brightly, but burn hotter together than alone. A true knight chooses the most formidable enemy as his primary opponent. He shows mercy to the repentant and refuses to inflict undue suffering, even on the vilest evildoer. 
Grant us unity, wisdom, trust to a lifelong brotherhood. To lifelong brotherhood. To lifelong brotherhood. Support local business. Sign up for local discounts throughout town. Discounts? We'll figure it out once we get enough signatures. Hey, Joe. What are you boys doing here? And what's with the outfits? What do you mean? We're trying to save the grocery store. Aren't you against the supermarket? When you boys were young, Everyone in this town knew everyone. You didn't have to hand out stickers. We worked together, we played together. And that's why we're trying to bring the town together. That's bold. I'm gonna back you boys. But you need a, you, you need a raccoon in this group to, to pull it off. With the, along with the dove and the eagle theme. It's a griffin. A raccoon? Yes, 16th smartest animal in the world. Mischievous? but bold and able to use complex tools. Support local business. Support local business. See you guys later. See you, Benji. Looking good, Manny. Thanks, Julie. Man, I totally blew it. Dude. She was messing with you, man. <laughs> oh, you're just jealous that she digs my manhood. I wish Jeff saw that. Why? So he could kick me. No, he wouldn't. He would never dare pound Roland like he did me. And he'd never want to hurt the Jeff Demon Bond. That's not true, man. Oh, go local. Listen, I'll talk to Jeff, and I'll set him straight. With the fury of a dove? Shut up. Don't let him ruffle your feathers. <laughs> Ow! This doesn't protect crap. You're such a wimp, Manny. Shut up, Jeff. Lay off, man. If I'm such a wimp, why did Julie just tell me I was hot? That's not what she said. She said you were looking good. Same thing. What are you doing, boy? Nothing, Dad. I'm just taking a break. No, not with anyone outside. Get back in here. These stickers are lame, Manny. Now we can begin. Wait, one more round. Let's take this to the next level. What do you mean? Flame on. Are you insane? Come on, it's Thurman. Go to Ritterick High House. Yes. But the sword only blazes with fire for a noble man who wields it for a just cause. But I guess it's not gonna work because we're just pretending, right? And that's neither noble nor worthy. Calm down, Jeff. I am calm. I'm just sick of finding around. Boys, it's time to go to war. With who? Anyone. There's so many boys from Taylor and Lockhart, and I'm, I bet you they're down to fight. They haven't done anything to us. I know that, Manny. But we can show them that we're the best. That's fighting at fencing! Stop picking on Manny, man! Why would we fight with somebody just to show them how good we are? I'm just saying that we should take this order to the next level. If we are attacked, then we fight. Not off of nothing. I'm not saying it's off of nothing. It's a challenge. It's a duel, it's a competition. Well, that's something else altogether. That's different than a battle. That's what I meant. So. What you're saying is that we should just raise our sword for unjust sport and folly. All those in favor of accepting this challenge, inviting whomsoever wishes to 
battle us. Raise their hands. Lifelong brotherhood. It seemed like the earth swallowed Jeff whole. Mr. Minix is, is Jeff around? I don't know where he is. Well, if you see him, could you tell him I was looking for him? Yeah. Okay. And, and I... Hey, Jeff. Your punk friend is here. <laughs> what are you looking at? He's not my friend. Yeah, that's what I thought. Come on, kid. We're waiting. Yo, Howie. Catch.
Benji the Dove of the Order of the Red Dragon? Are you Benji the Dove of the Order of the Red Dragon? parchment like we do, but it, it's smeared. Something about challenging us to a battle under the next full moon. And they said it was from the Order of the Black Feather? Next full moon? Don't they need time to practice? I don't know. But they're totally ripping us off. It has to be Jack. How could he do that? I don't know, but I'm not telling Roland. What? Why? A true knight chooses the most formidable enemy as his primary opponent. He shows mercy to the repentant and refuses to inflict undue suffering, even on the vilest evil doer. Good memory. Yeah. We are not going to let the vilest of evil doers have the pleasure. Mm -hmm. I can already smell it. <laughs> <I know. laughs> the stink all the gas is gonna make your house smell all day tomorrow. Wait, what gas? Oh, I turn on all the burners on her stove and just let the gas run. <laughs> you idiot! What? What? the dove of the noble order of the red dragon defender of the weak and the innocent did nothing well howie the hood the villain the murderer of animals and tormentor of children risked his own life for the sake of an old woman who was his arch enemy Hi, Miss Odell. Mm. Boys. How you feeling? Throat. Hurts. Yeah, well, they put one of those respiratory things down your throat. No, it's probably just from her yelling at all the doctors. <laughs> you look great. You know when you're getting out of here? It may be a bit of a problem. What are you talking about? And the fire marshal went through the house to check on the carbon whatever levels. He ended up finding quite a bit of mold. Like in the fridge? <laughs> no, <laughs> silly. <laughs> Black mold and all through the house. 
They said it wasn't safe for me to live there unless I get someone to tear out the walls and get rid of all that mold. I'm sorry that we couldn't stop it. Yeah. And about Socrates. But we will get them back. You mustn't blame yourself for any of this. I don't want any revenge. But you could have died. How long will these flowers last? It's longer than the balloons if you keep them in water. Manny, feel free to take a rose to Julie. Okay, boys, it's time to go. Bye, Miss Odell. It has to be a way for us to help Miss Odell. Like what? Fight. What's this? Full moon. The Order of the Black Feather. When did you get this? The day before. And why didn't you say anything? Well, I don't know. I just felt a true knight wouldn't give them the pleasure. But now? Oh, now, I feel like we should go and kick them. No, you were right. This is a different kind of fight. A true challenge for the Order. What does Miss Odell need? What if we took up a collection for her? She needs a house. We could build the house. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but that could take loads of money. True. A whole house? That could take years. Yes. But if we just begin, who knows what will come our way? We must. We will. Yeah! Money! Cash money! Donations. To Operation Resurrection. <laughs> Are you sure we shouldn't just fight tonight? Are we cowards? I don't think we are. I'm sure they were part of what happened to Miss Odell. If we are for justice and against injustice, shouldn't we? Let's take a vote. All those in favor of accepting the challenge of the Order of the Black Feather, raise your hand. They're not coming. I knew they were scared. What do you expect? They're a bunch of dumb kids. You nervous? No. 
Brody to death in this mask. We've been waiting over an hour. Yeah, I told you, they're afraid. You said they would come, man. Maybe they can't read. They read in those notes, all right? Yeah, let's get out of here. I was really in the mood for a fight. Yeah, save it. All right, they'll come next time. I'll make sure of it. So, Eddie, have you seen Howie in the hospital yet? I was going Screw to. him, man. All right, he punked out in the end, didn't he? We don't need him, right? That's right. Now you carry my shield, Jeff. Do you really think we did the right thing? Sometimes the most courageous thing to do is not fight. They are not our adversary. Besides, we now have a more noble quest. There's no need to battle just for the sake of coming to blues. Yeah, I wonder who would want to do that. Excuse me, Mom. Oh, <laughs> what do we have here? Pirate treasure? <laughs> We'd like to open an account. Mr. Graham? Careful, folks. Looks like we're about to get robbed by a pack of pirates! <laughs> we're knights, not pirates. Okay. If you boys wouldn't mind taking your toys outside, that would be great. Well, as you can see, we need to open an account so we can build a house for Miss Odell. Susan, why don't you count this out for our new customers and push my meeting? Uh, you don't have any meeting. Good. <laughs> Excellent. Good work. You're hired. Uh, fired. Uh, gentlemen, this way, please. <laughs> hey, I used to collect coins. Nice talk. It doesn't have to be as big as that old house. But... She needs a garden and a new porch. She definitely needs that. I appreciate your boy's benevolence and go-for-it attitude. But I was only interested in comics and girls when I was your age. We like those, too. Okay. Here you go, boys. Thank you, Mom. Ma'am. <laughs> Keep this up and you'll have enough for a building loan in the year 2034. So you've raised a good chunk of change. But houses here cost a lot of money. Well, we can raise more. We're dedicated to doing all that we can. Working together, that is. That's noble. An alternative option would be to renovate the house. Make it like new. But you'd need cheap labor and lumber to pull this off. Don't look so glum. If you knights can raise more money, maybe get some donations, I know some folks who may be interested in helping with the labor. I think that is a real solution to help Miss Odell. As a knight of the Order of the Red Dragon, I vow to raise enough money to build a new house for Miss Odell. Well, then I vow to make Miss Odell's house look like new again. Thank you. Nice meeting you. Have a good night. <laughs> hey, I was a ninja myself. What? Oh, yeah, ninja. Back when I was your age, me and my friends were ninjas and samurai. You know what? Mind if I... Oh, yeah. <laughs> stretch it out, stretch it Oh, yeah. <laughs> Gonna be looking at me. Oh, you never know. You know, you never know what she's like. Yeah. Oh, you need some help, Becca? Yeah. Yeah. Did you guys raise enough money? Are you spying on us? No, I was just looking for you guys to see how it's going. You know all matters of the order are strictly confidential. Yeah, I just wanted to come see you guys and give you something. But you resigned from the order. Yeah, you wanted out. I just wanted to talk to you guys for a minute. That's all. About what? About whether I could join up again. 
But weren't you part of what happened to Miss Odell? To Socrates? I wasn't there. I had nothing to do with that. But you know who did. I don't know anything about it, okay? And what about the full moon fight? You punk should have shown up. It was just a battle challenge. So you are a black feather. All those in favor of reinstating Jeff into the order, raise their hands. Screw you guys. What kind of mess is gonna be in this bag? Just talking. Only something. You gonna lie again? I know you're pretending to be asleep. I want to see you. To thank you. For what? Oh. For saving my life. Yes, I know. You took his life, but you gave mine back to me, so in a way you could say we're even. Ethan. I know there's a reason for everything. The reason you had to do what you did. No matter what, and I don't blame you for it. You don't? No. I know what it's like not to be loved. I know how far one will go to get the attention one needs. There's a song I know. I love it. it speaks to me and always gives me peace no matter what. That's a good job in the city. Working for the man. Every night and day, never lost a minute's sleep. Thinking about what could have been. Big wheels keep on turning. Proud Mary keeps on burning. Rolling. <laughs> Surprised you know that song. I, uh, I got a radio, and only two stations work, and old lady music is one of them. <laughs> do you think they know what's coming? They do know what's about to head up. Let's do this. Nice job, kids. Who is that? That's Mr. Scrub. A hundred bucks. He gave us a hundred bucks. One hundred, though? It could have been anything else, but he gave you a one hundred. Great job, boys. I do indeed believe we have enough to make Miss Odell's house look like new. 
I wish I had this energy and drive at your age. You pulled the community together to do a good thing and everyone noticed, even Mr. Scrub. Hmm? Without his labor donations, this might not have been possible. Mr. Scrub? But that's that stupid Supermar dude. Hey, he gave us a hundred bucks. And he says that he'll donate all the labor? 100%. That's a pretty sweet deal. What do you think, Benjamin? Well, this is for Miss Odell, so I'll say yes. I'll make a call. We'll start the renovations immediately. Congratulations, guys. I'll get back to school. <laughs> How are you doing? He's fine. Should we pay him a visit before, before we leave? Um, that would be difficult. He is gone. Gone? Yeah. You mean he just left? Uh -huh. You know, I think he's homeless. Well, then that would make sense. He's had a hard go of it, that boy. <laughs> I guess he just is able to take care of himself now as he ever was. Lord knows he's had enough practice. This is a two-step? I don't even know what that is. Right, left. He definitely don't want to step. Hey, Manny, do you want to dance?
Have you seen money? Nah, not since Julie made all his dreams come true. I'm sure he's picking out a fresh rose. We did a courageous thing here, Benji the Dove. Good thing. Uh, it does seem just. It does seem just. Man, this place looks like new. How are you? I'm uh, doing better, Benji. Well, we tried to come visit you at the hospital, but... But I took up all your time. Hello, Howard. How are you? You boys run along. Howard and I have some catching up to do. It's good to see you, Howard. It's good to be seen, Benji. Look, I know. I know. Oh. Her. Oh, no. My, 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 my. Oh. She's a rescue. Uh, I hate dogs so, so much. <laughs> uh, your house looks amazing. Oh. Oh, it does indeed. I'm still taking it all in. So what's next for you? I don't know. But uh, I'll figure it out. I'll, I'll get a job somewhere or something. I can take care of myself. Oh, I don't doubt that for a minute. But uh, where will you stay in the meantime? You're welcome to live here if you'd like. You could stay in the living room. You'd have it entirely to yourself. I mean, look, I... <laughs> uh, and uh, you can stay here as long as it suits you. Help me take care of uh, little Augustina here. It's a, it's a horrible name. <laughs> oh, no, you like that? You like it, Augustina? Pretty horrible, huh? <laughs> He should have been there yesterday. Perhaps he was. In spirit, that is. Jeff doesn't do spirits. Well, Jeff doesn't do a lot of things, does he? Like stick around in the order, like fight fit. Something written on the back of this one. We have Mr. Chivalry the Wimp. He'll be our prisoner until you show up and fight to set him free. The Black Feather awaits your arrival at the lake at 1 p.m. sharp. If you dare. This has gone on too far. The sun's now. Keep it up. Keep it up. We are not going to let a bunch of 10-year-olds beat us. Keep it going. Can I keep this off till they come? No. Yeah, what time is it? How the hell should I know? Hey, watch it! Roland's all talk. He won't fight for anger. But Benjamin, he's strong. But I'll give in to. To what? Manny, are you okay? Yeah. My feet are a little wet, though. 
Eddie the turd. Don't call me that. You've all gone too far! Are you ready to fight, Highlander? You and your little sidekick here? Two against four. That doesn't seem like a fair fight to me. But maybe you're all just too scared to fight fairly. Oh, no. Oh, we're trembling, boys, aren't we? <laughs> <laughs> Get ready, men. <laughs> Untie Manny first. He's fine. I said untie him! Ah! Benji! Hey! Hey! Is that, is that a real sword? There is only one way to find out. Screw this, man. No, let's go. Are you okay? Get up, Highlander! Get up! to be afraid of you. Afraid of getting hurt. But no more! Because you know what I realized? There was nothing scarier than having no friends. Well, look around! You're alone. And you couldn't look any more scared. Guys! I'm drifting! Grab the rope! Yeah! Rolling the dragon. <laughs> Manny the Griffin. Roland once said, the 
ancient Celts believed the voice of the dove was a morning call. When its cry was heard, it indicated a soul was passing from the earth in peace. Many thought this place was the best. The river all to ourselves, the cliff swallows above our heads, the story of old sailors, stupid jokes, ridiculously low voices, funny accents, and the sound of our own laughter. Good times with the best of friends. The sun high above, and not a care in the world. This was the entrance to paradise. A year doesn't take away the pain, does it, Benji? Not really. Knowing he's in a better place is some comfort. But I know you miss your friend. I do. <laughs> when you get to be my age, you have a lot of friends up there. are better because man they lived. Uh, Blackberry and Wobbler. Rare. Common. <laughs> Common and beautiful if you take the time to see them. <laughs> you think all this would be okay? Right? My favorite author once said, if I find in myself a desire for which no experience in this world can satisfy, the most probable conclusion is that I was made for another world. It doesn't get any better than this, does it, Benji? <laughs> nope. The mighty griffin, king of all beasts and birds and fish. <laughs> this is our town. It's just a couple of streets a park, and a lake. Our little world all of its own. It's the kind of town where nobody moves out. Almost nobody moves in. And no one is ever forgotten.